And uh, that's when he gave me this, this principle of law to the proud and grace to the humble. Okay? I just, he said, you notice whenever you talk to somebody and you ask them, where do you think you would go tonight if you were to die? You know, I wouldn't just up and say that to anybody. You know, you have to, you have to talk to somebody and then you have to, you have to start off in a natural, like you might say, how about the weather? What do you think about this weather? Or how about the LSU football game? And, and then you just kind of, you start off in a natural, then you swing to the supernatural. We're going to get to that in just a minute. Man. But, <clears throat> but I said, uh, I want to do it the way that Jesus would do it. And he told me, the Holy Spirit told me, you notice every time you ask somebody the question, the million dollar question, where would you go if you were to die tonight? They always say, heaven. heaven. Oh, yeah. And then you say, why? Because I'm, good I'm a good person. <laughs> Nine times out of ten, I rarely, in the 20 years that I've been doing this a lot, I could probably count on one hand the number of people that said, I'm going to hell. You know, I know I'd be going to hell. Yeah. I could probably count on one hand the, uh, those number of people. And, uh, and God told me they need to see that they're not a good person and that they're going to hell, you know. He told me that they needed to see that. And I want you to ask them. Ask them if you ever told a lie. And I say, well, have you, have you ever told a lie? Yeah. Well, what does that make you? A liar. Okay, you ever stole anything? Yeah. What does that make you? A thief, you know. And, and, and God gave me this, and I never heard of Ray Comfort. I never heard of, I, the last thing I heard about Kirk Cameron was when I was watching Growing Pains, okay? I think that's the show he was on, Growing Pains. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I didn't even know he was a Christian, <clears throat> okay? So I didn't, I didn't know none of this, and God taught me this. That, that conf whenever, and, and I started telling my pastor, I told my pastor, hey, man, five people got saved last week, almost one a day. I mean, God's really using me. I'm, I'm fired up. And he said, really? Like, like he didn't believe it. And I said, yeah, and, and this is how I did it. And you know, God, I asked the Lord to show me. And he said that I need to use the law, the Ten Commandments, to show people that they're really not good. You know, you, you ask them why they're going to heaven. They say, I'm a good person. He said, no, 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 no. Don't do that. You just preach the cross. You're not supposed to do that. All you do, look, look, I'm a, and he wrote down the Roman road the yeah. scriptures. That's whenever that started getting Roman famous. Six, he wrote that down. He wrote down the Roman road. He said, look, here's how you do this. What you're doing, you're just messing up, man. That's not how you do that. Okay, I just prayed with five people. Over the course of one week or so, people are getting saved left and right. If they're not getting saved, they're getting baptized in the Holy Ghost or both. Yeah. All together. And he tells me, oh, no, that's not how you do it. But I respected him, and I loved him, and I, and I cast out what God had just taught me about law to the proud and grace to the humble. I cast it out because this man, my, my dad in the faith, told me this is not how you do it. You're just supposed to preach the cross. Okay? And you know how many people got saved the next week? Zero. The week after that? Zero. Zero. Next month, zero. Every now and then you run into somebody, yeah, man, I know, bro, I'm a, I know I need, I need to cross. Every now and then you're going to run into more self-righteous and proudful people that, that all the ways of a man are right in his own eyes, but the end thereof are the ways of death, you know. Most people will <laughs> proclaim their own goodness, the Bible says, right, yeah. you know. All men will proclaim their own goodness. Okay? And then you have the dogs of the swine. It does, like I was telling you, it doesn't take very long to realize who you're witnessing to. The characteristics of a dog or a swine is that they turn and trample your words under their feet. The, the pearls that you try to give them and attack you. If they're just attacking you and they just uh, uh, aggressive and, and evil right. and hateful and, and just completely opposed to the things of God and they're a swine where you just say, oh, I'm sorry. I offended you. Forgive me and you have a nice life. Bye-bye. And you don't, 
you do what Jesus said and you don't give them nothing. Okay? Law to the proud and grace to the humble. I was going to cover the fact that grace is not unmerited favor. I'm going to have to do that on, on another one. But uh, real quickly, you know, the Bible says, the Bible says in, in uh, James 4, says that God resists the proud but gives grace to the humble. Okay, if grace was unmerited favor, then the proud could get it too. Okay, it says that God resists the proud but gives grace to the humble. I get a lot of emails and, and, and messages and one pastor got a printout of one of my messages and critiqued it and told me, you know, when, when I put up in 1 Peter 5, 5, where it says, God resisteth the proud and giveth grace to the humble. He said, I strongly disagree. He said, uh, uh, in one of them, he said that, uh, let, me, let me find it. Oh, here it is. Verse 5. He said, I'm, uh, whenever I gave that scripture on 1 Peter 5, 5, where it says God resists the proud but gives grace to the humble, uh, a pastor that uh, got a copy of one of my messages and critiqued it said that I may be out of context. You can't build a doctrine on one scripture. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven that, that, that support it, okay? Let's look at them real fast. Look up Proverbs 3, 34. Chet, you look up Job 22, 29. Mike, would you look up Isaiah 57, 50? Um, yeah, Proverbs 3, 34. Chet, you got Job 22, 29. Mike, you got Isaiah 50, uh, 57, 50? No. no, 57, 15. Okay. Isaiah 57, 15. Uh, you got James 4, 6. I'm going to look up Matthew 18, 41. Uh, Miss Emily, would you get uh, would you get Luke 18, 17? You got Proverbs, brother? Mm -hmm. Read that Proverbs 3, 34. Surely he scorneth the scorners, but he giveth grace unto the lowly. Okay, surely he scorneth the scorners. A self-righteous, proud scorner. He scorns the scorners, but gives grace to the lowly. 